let's move on to the second game. The second game is also really fun. Uh, it's called ABC Word Chain. ABC Word Chain. So what is this about? This game is really, really great for building vocabulary. And uh, it's also very versatile. You can really use this for very low level students, but also higher level students, depending on the category that you choose for this game. So how does this uh, game work? The teacher chooses a topic and asks a student for a word that fits into that topic. So for example, the topic could be animals. And then you ask a student, okay, who can tell me an animal? And the student says lion. So you write down lion. And next, the students, they take turns building a word chain. And usually you can do this like in a row. You know, you start with this student and the next, 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 next. Go in a, go in a row like that. Um, so the students, they take turns building a word chain by looking at the final letter of the last word in the row. So for example, if you start with lion, the last letter is N then the next student needs to find an animal that begins with N, right? And also fits into that category, so animals. So in the case of our animal word chain, it could be lion, newt, turtle, elephant, and so on, and so on, and so on. So obviously animals or things like that is really easy. You can play this with very lower, like low level beginner students, but then you can also do other categories. Like for example, um, you could do adjectives even for advanced students, right? Adjectives, or you could do like countries and capitals, depending on what you teach them. Um, you could do like, uh, I mean, literally anything. You can also use this if you, typically your lesson has a topic, right? So you can do this as a review game. So the topic would be whatever topic that you talked about the last class, like environment. So all the words need to be related to environment, for example, or things like that. Or we recently had Earth Day, right? So you could do that as a topic, everything that relates to like Earth or whatever. So you can really, you're really free with this and it's a really, really fun game. It's not only an icebreaker, but I also really like to use this when it's like towards the end of the class, you still have like five minutes, you don't know what to do, you can play this game. So it works really, really well. So let's also try this real quick together. I have a piece of paper here and I chose the category fruit, also not that difficult. So I'm gonna start with a fruit. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do just apple. Let's see. And you would write this down. First word. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? Okay. <laughs> apple. So now into the comments. Let's play this game. Continue the word chain. Continue the word chain. So anybody, the first comment that I see, that's gonna be the next word in our word chain. And then we're going to do a couple of more examples, okay? So apple is the first one. Apple. All right, so we have banana. That doesn't fit. It needs to start with E, right? It needs to start with E. Banana starts with B. Then we have non-ancy elephant. Elephant doesn't work. It doesn't fit into the fruits category. We're doing fruits now in our example, okay? All right. So let's see, a fruit that starts with E. It's actually kind of difficult. Is there a fruit that starts with E? You can Google it. <laughs> I'm sure there is a fruit. So a fruit start starting with E. Let's see, can somebody figure it out? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, eggplant, vegetable, right. Yeah, is there a fruit that starts? I'm sure there's a fruit that starts with E. Okay, let's Google this. Fruit that starts with E. Or somebody Google it. Fruit. Fruit that starts with E. See, sometimes it can be really difficult. Okay, there are a couple. Oh, and even eggplant is on there. Is eggplant actually a fruit? No way. <laughs> okay, there are a lot of crazy fruits. Anybody find something? All right, uh, Google it and tell me one. There's a lot. Can you Google it? 
Uh, oh, there's a good one. Elderberry. Elderberry. Let's do that one. <laughs> Elderberry. Okay, so you would do that. Yes, elderberry. So now we have why. This might be even more difficult. Why? <laughs> this is a really bad example. <laughs> but see, it gets your students thinking. Gets your students thinking. Is there anything that starts with why? There must be a fruit that starts with why, right? Yam. Yeah. Okay. Is that actually a vegetable? I'm not sure. All right, let's do that. Let's do fruits and vegetables, okay? All right, let's do fruit, <laughs> fruits and vegetables <laughs> to make this a little bit better. All right, apple. So this is typically how I write it down onto the board. So we have apple, elderberry, yam, yuzu fruit. That's a good one. Yuzu fruit, yangmei fruit. Okay, good. All right, let's just do yam. Let's do fruits and vegetables. Let's just do it. So, next one. <laughs> Let's do a couple more. Three more. Let's do three more. Great. Thank you, Juliana. Juliano says mango. Perfect. So, I need to start back here. Mango. Yeah, now it's going to be a little bit easier, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Great. Mango. Awesome. Yes. Orange. Perfect. Orange. Oh, this looks like a P. It's an O. Orange. Awesome. And one more. With E. Another one with E. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I just saw that too. <laughs> Elephant apple. I think I saw that. I googled it. Or eggplant. Okay. Let's, Mikey, we said fruits and vegetables. You said eggplant earlier. So let's do eggplant. Eggplant. Okay. All right. And then maybe the last one's tea. Someone with tea, one more, and then we'll just finish. Thanks. You're so fast. Good. Mikey, tomato. Good. Or tangerine. Yes. Nice. Taro. Good. Yeah. So that's how that game works. And it's really fun. Um, we had a rough start, but um, yeah. Sometimes if you feel like it doesn't work, you can do, you can expand your category a little bit. Um, but yeah, you can adjust this, uh, you know, depending on the level of your students, you could do something easier, something harder. You could do like parts of speech. Like I said, you could do adjectives only or like, you know, more difficult category or anything like that, right? So this is a great game uh, to get your students started and talking in in English but you could also use this if you have like I said five minutes left at the end you don't know what to do play this game it's usually super fun <laughs> yeah Candace said the game is challenging but fun yeah um sometimes it can be challenging <laughs> even though I thought fruit is an easy category but yeah Right, fruits start with E, it's kind of hard. So you could do fruits and vegetables, I think, then it's easier. Great. Good, okay. <laughs> this was fun, though. Thanks so much for playing, guys. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.